On this auspicious occasion, I also bring with me the greetings of 1.25 billion people from the land of the Samyak Sambuddha, the perfectly self-awakened one. Excellencies and friends, our region is blessed to have given to the world the invaluable gift of Buddha and his teachings. Both Gaya in India, where Prince Siddharth became the Buddha, is the sacred nucleus of the Buddhist universe. Lord Buddha's first sermon in Varanasi, which I have the honor to represent in the parliament, set in motion the wheel of Dhamma, our key national symbols have taken inspiration from Buddhism. Buddhism and its various strands are deep-seated in our governance, culture, and philosophy. The divine fragrance of Buddhism spread from India to all corners of the globe. Mahindra and Sangmitra, the worthy children of King Ashoka, made their journey from India to Sri Lanka a Dhamma Dutta to spread the biggest gift of Dhamma. And as Buddha had himself said, Sabbadanam Dhamma Danam Janati. It means the gift of Dhamma is the biggest gift of all. Today, Sri Lanka takes pride in being among the most important centers of Buddhist teachings and learning. Centuries later, Anagarika Dharmapala undertook a similar journey, but this time from Sri Lanka to India to revive the spirit of Buddha in the land of its own origin. In some way, you took us back to our own roots, the world also owes a debt of gratitude to Sri Lanka for preserving some of the most important elements of the Buddhist heritage. Vesak is an occasion for us to celebrate this unbroken shared heritage of Buddhism, a heritage that connects our societies across generations and through centuries. Friends, the friendship between India and Sri Lanka was etched in time by the great master. Buddhism imparts an ever-present radiance to our relationship. As close neighbors, our relationship spreads across many layers. It draws strength as much through our interconnected values of Buddhism as it does from the limitless possibilities of our shared future. Ours is a friendship that lies in the hearts of our people and in the fabric of our societies. To honor and deepen our links, 
of Buddhist heritage, I have the great pleasure to announce that from August in year, in this year, Air India will operate direct flight between Colombo and Varanasi. This will ease travel to the land of Buddha for my brothers and sisters from Sri Lanka and help you directly visit Srivasti, Kushinagar, Sankasa, Koshambi, and Sarnath. And my Tamil brothers and sisters will also be able to visit Varanasi, the land of Kashi Vishwanath. 